Good morning, all. My name is My name is Kani Haran, Department of Information Technology of KCG College of Technology. Today, I am going to handle the class Cloud Computing. Before that, going to the class, first I want to ensure that which course outcome is relevant to this Cloud Computing. Describe the concept of virtualization and its application. This is the course outcome, the second course outcome of our course for the cloud computing. Next, what is the basic outcome of this class? The basic outcome of this class, what are the types of cloud computing? What are the services of cloud computing? What are the advantages of cloud computing? Then, after end of the class, you should understand that what is the basic outcome of this class? And then, the basic types, the public cloud, private cloud and hybrid cloud. The next, the services. The three basic services, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a, software as a service. The next, advantages, the flexibility, paper use, availability and anytime and anywhere. A small example of how the cloud computing is more advantages than the other technologies. For example, if you want to start up a e-marketing company. So what are the basic things you want to start a company means? So you need a server, you need air conditioners, you, uh, you need a UPS. So for that, for, for server you have to spend minimum amount of 1 lakh rupees and for air conditioner minimum amount of 50,000 rupees and for UPS you have to spend minimum amount of 1 lakh. And also in addition you have to pay electricity bill each and every month. So totally for basic requirements, these things are needed 2 lakhs 50,000 to start a company. But when you are using the cloud computing technology, so no need to worry about these things and electricity bill. Just you are going to assess any one of the cloud provider and your login ID will be created and you can easily use this technologies or you want to, if you, if you want to buy a software or platform or infrastructure, whatever it may be, you can buy it from this cloud computing or cloud computing, cloud servers. So this is very simple to use and it is more advanced and it is more flexible. So this major advantages of cloud. So next we are going to discuss about the different types with the example. For example, one of the, one of the first example is it is a inside the organization. If you want to do all the operations in the inside a single organization just you can go with the private cloud and if you want to do uh, operations throughout the worldwide just you have to go use the public cloud next the combination of both private and public the most of the private compute uh, private clouds are not much more utilized in 24 into 7 so if you want to use that private cloud with the public cloud that concept is called as hybrid cloud computing. The next, different services in the cloud computing. The first service, infrastructure as a service. You know that the basic infrastructures are compute, memory and storage. So next one, it is a platform as a service. So whatever be the operating system you want to use, just you can assess from the paper use technique from the cloud service servers. Finally, the software as a service the all kind of softwares will be available in any time, anywhere in the world that can be used by any user while they are in the travel also. So this is the finalized topic of this cloud computing. Now you got the idea about our concept, what is a cloud computing and the basic outcomes are, what are the types, what are the services and what are the major advantages. Thank you. Anna.